welcome to my youtube channel at this tutorial i will show you how to model a sci-fi gun with a cover add-on which is built-in add-on so just go over here edit them preferences then go over this search box so let's retype cover it's gonna be showing the add-on it's uh, enabled check it in this uh, menu over there it's built in add-on, great add-on, use it to create and to cut, uh, draw or different meshes. In this tutorial, we, ha we ha will have a look at Blender's built-in cover tool. Just to enable it, so let's zoom in, scroll up the mouse wheel. I have this cube I'm gonna be making and modeling a sci-fi gun with uh, this add-on so just uh, select it click on the leftmost button hit S then Y in order to scale it like this scale it to Y axis so scroll down the mouse wheel so just to want to scale it also on the X axis S and X so just scale it tiny bit like this I'm gonna be using the Carver add-on and this add-on allows you to quickly make boolean cuts including some preset shapes that allow us to quickly create a cool sci-fi gun so first first things first let's enable it so just enable it as, uh, it, uh, as I have done earlier in the add-ons tab of preferences so just let's move on to show you in the part shading drop down menu check the boxes for shadow and the cavity just go over there go to check the cavity then also we need to check the shadow outline or also uh, so let's uh, switch to edit mode uh, just uh, tap to switch to edit mode like this so in order to switch to launch this uh, great add-on we need the shortcut shift control x shift then control then x hit enter is gonna be launching our great add-on so in the center of the screen you see which options are currently active by default it is set to difference with rectangle shape as shown in our example this is the kind the, the kind of cutting using just the shape rectangle as shown here so just click on the left mouse button like this is gonna be making this rectangle in order to cut draw this 3d shape so in order to cut draw this uh, this uh, 3d object over there we need to hit uh, 3 on the numpad as shown in our example in order to cut it uniformly also we have also here H for help. Uh, you can hit H in order to show this uh, this information and some uh, important shortcuts uh, while working with this great add-on. We have reboot. You can use Shift and validate using the left mouse button. The much more uh, shortcuts you should use them uh, when working with this add-on. So let's explain the cut type. We have the cut type uh, rectangle. In our example, you can uh, switch it to other uh, type, like uh, by hitting the space bar. The space bar button is gonna be making cutting using a line or cut using circle. So let's go ahead to show you. So I'm gonna be using a rectangle. Uh, this shape used to cut draw this uh, 3D object over there. So now I'm gonna be hit the space bars it's set to rectangle click on using the left uh, using the left mouse button click and drag like this just this is gonna be cutting just uh, like this hit uh, or hit the left mouse button or click on left mouse button click over the outline editor using the right mouse button to turn it off we have created this grid shape so let's go back i'm gonna i'm gonna be switching it again shift control x is gonna be switching the cover add-on as shown in our example just i want to show you another another type of cutting 
which is using the circle just hit the space bar button it's gonna be showing a line and the line uses like this click using the leftmost button and hovering over your shape to to be to be cutted click over there and click like this just I'm gonna be showing some methods use it like this and click on the on the leftmost button in order to wipe this so In order to validate, hit uh, space, like this, space bar button, like this. Shown in our example, just uh, I will move forward in order to show you something very interesting to how, on how to create the sci-fi gun just using some shortcuts and uh, quickly. Now let's use uh, a line as shown here, so I'm going to be changing the cut type. It's a space bar button line. So just I'm going to cut in over this part over there just a tiny bit like this. Hit the space bar in order to confirm. Also go to cut this part at the bottom. Just uh, click over here using the leftmost button, then drag it, click over there, and just make it aligned to, for example, to Y axis shown here. Like just like this. Then hit space bar, the space bar button to confirm. So I'm gonna be cutting this part over there. So just I leave this uh, this shape. At the corners click over there can so drag it just a little bit should be aligned like this hit the space bar in order to confirm so let's see what you have over there so it's uh, similar to the shape of the so if I gun like this, so let's continue. It's a three for the side view. So let's move on in order to cut it using just circles. I'm gonna be adding some uh, some holes at this part over there. So just I'm gonna be changing the cut type over here. I'm gonna be using clicking on space bar like this button. Just I'm gonna be using circle. Scroll down to zoom again. So in order to make some great holes, cut and draw this uh, this uh, 3D shape. So click, just uh, drag like this. Click on the left mouse button to confirm. Also want to add much more. Need to make some other shapes over there. Just I'm gonna be changing this cutter to to a rectangle. So just making another shape over there. you can see the shape that we have forgot in our tutorial so you can make your own sci-fi gun a three four side view so just I will use uh, some circles Thank you. 
just like this so let's continue And that's it and you can bevel some parts and uh, working on some parts because uh, this tutorial is just to show you how to use a cover add-on in order to make uh, some some things cutting through some different three objects thanks for watching